In this video, we'll be discussing about cell junctions and its types. We know the cell junctions are the complex structures of proteins that exist between two cells or between a cell and an extracellular matrix. These cell junctions provide a bridge between cells or between cell and a matrix for the purpose of communication, transport or signals or even a mechanical support. In this diagram, you can see the two cells surrounded by extracellular matrix. This structure that connects the two cells is the cell junction or the structure that connects the cell with the matrix is also the cell junction here. Now let's see the different types of cell junctions present within the living organisms. There are four types of cell junctions. First one is anchoring junction. Second one is occluding junction. Third one is channel forming junction. Fourth one is signal relaying junction. Sometimes you might have read there are only three types of cell junctions. That's anchoring junction, occluding junction and channel forming junction. It is because the signal relaying junction can be from the above three junctions. Like channel forming junction can also be a signal relaying junction. That's why most of the times we describe only three types of signal junctions. Now first of all let's explain the anchoring junctions. Anchoring junctions as the name states that is a type of cell junction which anchors the cell within the tissue. It anchors the cell with the other cell and even it provides anchorage between a cell and a matrix. So basically we see here in anchoring junctions we see anchoring proteins extend through the plasma membrane to link cytoskeletal proteins in one cell to the cytoskeletal protein of neighboring cell. Now we see in that junction we have two types of transmembrane linker proteins or you can say transmembrane addition proteins that are catherines and integrins. While as in occluding junction we have claudine protein as transmembrane linker and in channel forming junctions we have conexin and anexin protein as a transmembrane linker. Now getting into the anchoring junctions they are further categorized into two types depending upon the type of cytoskeleton anchor protein. It can be actin filament or intermediate filament. The actin filament containing junctions are of two types. One is atherin junction and the other one is actin linked cell matrix junction. The atherin junction is between cell and a cell while as actin linked cell matrix junction is between cell and a matrix. And now the anchoring junction having intermediate filaments are further categorized into two types again. One is desmosome and the other one is hemidesmosome. The desmosome anchoring junction is between two cells while as hemidesmosome is between cell and a matrix. And also remember that desmosome has catherine as transmembrane linker while as hemidesmosome has integrin as transmembrane linker protein. Now let's get to the second one that's occluding junctions. We classify them in vertebrates and invertebrates. In the vertebrates these are called tight junctions while as in the invertebrates these are called septate junctions. Now the third one is channel forming junction. We classify them under animals and plants. In animals these are termed as gap junctions while as in plants these are termed as plasmodesmata. And finally we have signal relaying junctions which can be any of the previous three junctions. The signal relaying junctions can transmit chemical synapses in nervous system. There are specialized signal relaying junctions called shimu projections which are found in yeasts that relay the signal to the other yeasts. And also take a note that anchoring junctions, occluding junction and channel forming junction can act as a signal relaying junction. So this is all about cell junctions and its types. In the next video we'll be discussing about anchoring junctions in detail. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.